you know, you could really say, Holy Spirit, I, I don't want to have that in my life anymore. You know, please help me to get rid of that. Take, take it away. If you really are sincere and be honest, that's what's going to happen. He's going to take it away. You may not even know when it's gone because he's so effective. Again, he's, he's like, you know, it's, it's like the candle. It says the spirit of man is a candle uh, of the Lord. And he searches all the inward parts. You know, that's, that's Holy Spirit. Oh, my goodness. He is a light. And he'll shine and show those areas so that you can. And the wonderful thing about it is he shows you yourself so that you can know it without someone having to tell you. I do much better when I find things myself. I'm not always, you know, <laughs> as, uh, how can I say, acceptable. Because sometimes what people think they see in you is not what they see at all. And so it's so much better when you just seek the Lord for yourself, isn't it? I think you agree, okay? All right. I'm almost there. We're almost there. So the Word of God will bring light, okay? And what it lights, that, that's your spirit, okay? And light is likened unto knowledge because, uh, as we've shared many times, in Hebrew, light means knowledge and darkness is ignorance. It, it means you don't know. So God guides you through you know, your, your, your spirit realm, he, he will guide you and help you, but you've got to look to him. Again, we're talking soul management. Uh, it's, it's not hard at all. Uh, you just take one thing at a time and, you know, deal with it until you get peace, and then you go on to the next thing. And that's why I said if everybody spent time doing that, you just wouldn't have everybody in everybody's business. Because once I get rid of one thing in my life, I'm like, oh, yeah, now that, that too, that too has to go. And, and then that, okay, and then after that is something. It's always something that you can, you know, really see and deal with. Because there's always this need to, to grow and improve, all right, and, and, you know, become all that God has for you to be. So it's, it's a wonderful thing to seek God for yourself, all right. So, you always move in the direction of your most dominant thoughts. Okay, I'll say that again because you might want to write it down. You will always move in the direction.